Next one are the cups. Cups people. Whereas the ones people live in the future, they're trying to climb the mountain. The cups people live in the past, they're sentimental, they're soft, they're nurturing, they're sensitive. So you can pause now as you work out the meanings of a card, or a set of cards together, and they'll let you, they'll sit with you while you pause. So in careers, these people make the natural counsellors. Good listeners. They're great in childcare. They're great with uh, primary school children, little, little kids. They're calm. They understand the need for peace and centeredness and stillness. So the ones people say, I'll meditate when I'm dead. There'll be plenty of time for that. The cuts people say, no, we've got to take some time every day for it. It's just wonderful, you know. Cleaning the, 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 the outside of the fish tank again. Oh, it's lovely. I'd like to be in there with the rest of you, you know. They love water, love the ocean. And they can spend all day staring at the ocean and all its moods. Whereas the, um, the Wongs people, they've got those jet skis getting across the ocean. Ring, 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 ring. Annoying everybody, but having a great time. So, if you're upset with a co-worker and you decide you're going to go and see someone in, in the human resources uh, to have it sorted out, you're probably going to be talking to a cups person. Oh, we didn't say that, did he? That's terrible. Oh, it's, you know, and they're trying to find a way we can all work together in harmony. And, you know, you could send them into the Middle East. They probably wouldn't uh, bring a lot of peace there, but they wouldn't cause any more strife. You know? So, cups people, sensitive, creative. They love to escape the harshness, harsh realities of life through books and through films. This is the little kid you put on their favourite uh, DVD again. <sighs> you know? They're a bit shy, they warm up to you slowly. I'll give an example of this. A friend of mine uh, came to stay for 10 days. Well, it was a while back now because the boy's about 14 now. And he was about, her son was about four and very shy. And so for the first nine days, he would sit near me, but not next to me. And he wanted to play the piano, but he wouldn't sit on the piano stool next to me. And I've got a photograph of the last day we're leaving. He starts to get sentimental. I won't be seeing you again. Well, I better sit next to you on the piano. I better, I better. So I've got a photo of both, of both of us there playing the piano, looking at the camera. And it was like, because as soon as they think they're leaving something, then they want it. And I'll, in the car on the way to the airport, are we going back to his place again? Can we visit him again? When are we going to stay with him again? You know? Whereas the first few days, when are we going home? Just a bit shy. So you've got to take time for them to warm up, you know? Whereas a little ones kid, they've broken something first thing in the door, you know, they've made a, you know, they're trodden on the cat, you know, they've scared everybody, you know, finger in a light socket. You know? They know it works. So, careers in counselling, listening to others, primary school, interior design, interior decorating, film work, uh, the great designers. So from interior design to web design, any sorts of design, good eye for that sort of thing.